Hello, my name is Tom, and welcome back to part two of my project where I am using a USB flash drive to download the project to a Proface AGP 3400 HMI. And I'm going to scroll down here and show you the materials for today's project along with the project description. And remember, if you follow the hyperlinks, it should take you directly to the website where the item is located. And I'm going to continue scrolling here. And in step one is where I am pulling up the menu screen and selecting the USB and it's going to reboot. And here I am selecting the USB. In step three I have the memory loader pulled up. The HMI has already rebooted. And I will be selecting this button here, download USB to the display, instead of uploading. This button here will upload. This one here downloads. And I'm going to continue scrolling down here to figure 4. In figure 4, I'm going to select this button right here that says select file at the bottom of the picture. And then in 4B, I select the file here, and then click enter and then in 5 I'm going to start the download in 5a I am going to acknowledge that I do want to start the download of the data and in step 6 here the project is downloading and in 6b picture I am successfully completed the download and then what I will do is press the back button here and then again until I reach the exit button and then I will press exit and the system will reboot again and I'm going to scroll back up here to the top and I'm going to open up my video here and first part of the video what I am doing is I am pressing on the upper right hand corner and the lower left hand corner to open up the menu and you will see that here shortly there will be a banner at the bottom and here's the banner at the bottom and the button or icon that I want to press is the second one from the left it says CF slash USB so I'll be pressing that here next I'll be pressing the USB starting button here and what that will do is it will start the memory loader tool and it will also reboot the system so I'm going to press it here, and as you can see, the system is rebooting. Well, as you can see, the system has rebooted, but the language is in Japanese right now. So all I'm going to have to do is come up to this drop-down box right here, and click on it, and select the language for English. Now, since my language is in English, I have a couple of buttons here. One is for uploading the display to the USB and the other one is download the USB to the display so I'm going to select the button on the right that says download and it has in parentheses USB to the display now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press the select file button and I'm going to choose my file which is this one right here now I'm going to select the enter button to download that file now I'm going to press start now I'm going to click yes to verify that I want to download this project now the project is being read from the display unit Now I'm writing the data to the HMI. This is going to take several minutes because there are approximately 50 or 60 screens that I have on here. So right now it's writing the OS data. And then next it will be writing the individual screens. Now it's coming to a close. 
and my data was write was completed successfully. Now I need to press the back button to start backing out of the memory loader tool. And I'll press back again. Now I'll press exit. And it asks me if I'm sure if I want to reboot the system. Click yes. And the system is rebooting. This will take a little bit. And there's my project. And that's it for this video. If you like what you see, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.